All right, so our next part is to create the actual plant because we have a way to add it or add something, right? Interact with our dirt, but not plant, right? We need a sort of plant to add to our dirt. So what we'll do is we will go to our dirt and we're actually gonna duplicate this guy just as a base reference and we'll rename this to plant. And we can go into this and we'll zoom in. We actually don't need the tile map, so we can delete this and we can find the uh, dirt that we want, but the plant will want is not just one frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an animated sprite. I'm going to go to the inspector, animation, sprite frames, new sprite frames. Go. I'm going to click this. I'll go to the grid right here. Find the sprites that we want, which will be in here. I believe it'll be in the objects. And what we'll do is we'll select the basic plants and we're going to load in uh, one row essentially. So we're going to go to two for vertical, for horizontal, we'll do six. Now you can pick which one you want. I'm going to do the tomato. I'm going to select from here all the way to here, add these six frames. And here I can just rename this to tomato. Now in my, uh, my script, this is the dirt plant. So I'm going to remove the script. And what I'll do is I'm actually going to also disconnect the signals from the area 2D as there's no script anymore anyways. For the label, I can delete this. And now I'm going to add a timer. And this is all we need. I'm going to rename this to plant. And now I'll add a new script for our plant and add this in our scripts folder. And we can add it in the dirt if you'd like. I'm going to open and create. All right, so what do we want in here? Well, we need a few things, a few variables, essentially, to help our plant, right? To get started, what we can do is we can simply create a, uh, two things, a growth stage and a max growth stage. So what number does it start at? And the reason I'm doing one to five is literally because one, two, three, four, five, right? Or one, two, three, four, five, however you want to see it, right? Now, in our script again, what we'll do is we're also going to load our timer and our animated sprite. I can do this by saying on ready variable, growth timer, and plant texture. Next, what we can do is we can also set a custom growth time. So what I can do is set our own growth time. Now, if you wanted to, you can also export this. I don't really find a point just because, well, we're going to be loading it in manually through our dirt later. Uh, so there's not really much of a point, but if you'd like, you are more than welcome to do that. All right, next up, which we might do eventually, is we will add a health and a water level. So this is a little for later, but essentially what we'll do is our plant will have health, kind of a health, right? And then water level, so how much its current water level is at. Now you could start at zero if you'd like, but it will also have a max water level, which will be 100. All right, so what we'll do first is in our ready function, I want to set my growth timer dot wait time to the growth time. Right? If I want this to work, I need to set the wait time in my ready function. All right, next up, what we'll do is we need to add a harvest function. Now, the reason we're adding this harvest function is because we need a way to eventually harvest it, right? So what I'll do here is I'm going to create a harvest function. And inside of here, I'm going to first check to see if the growth stage is equal to the math max growth stage, right? If our plant is fully grown and I'm trying to harvest it by interacting with it, then I will simply queue free. Now, there is one more other thing we'll do later, but for now, this is all we need, all right? All right, so next up, we can update our growth stage. We need a function that will help us update our growth stage. So we'll create a function like that. We'll simply set the texture dot frame equal to the growth stage. So we start at one, right? So in our plant here, we'll start at technically zero because what's going to happen is that this will only happen after every tick. So in our timer, we're actually going to connect this in a second. Actually, we might as well connect it now. We're going to have this on, on start. Uh, but the thing is, right? So here, here's what's going to happen. When I add the plant, this technically will not have triggered yet. It won't have happened. So technically it will be at zero. So we can go to the inspector, go to auto start, turn that on, and make sure that in our plant, we can now set some stuff in here. 
So here's here's what's going to happen, right? Or here's what we want to happen. We essentially want to add to our growth stage every time this goes up. And now, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, let's continue. Uh, and then what we can do if we want, we can do some other things like reduce the water level. Whoops. We can reduce the water level. And then what we'll want to do right after this is update the growth stage right here. So call that function. Lastly, we'll start the uh, timer again. So we'll make sure that the timer keeps going, even though uh, it's it should just keep going, right? We'll make sure it goes off anyways. All right, and lastly, what we want to do though is we actually want to check to see uh, if two, a few things. Again, <laughs> if the water level is bigger than zero and the health is bigger than zero and the growth stage is less than the max growth stage. That's where I want to do all this. Only if these are all true, then can I do this, right? Because if the water level's zero or less than zero, well, I shouldn't be able to plant it. I should probably have to water it first, right? And if the health is less than zero, that probably means it's dead. You can also add a health uh, check and add the health, elif, whatever, and make sure that it has a death uh, frame, whatever you want, right? If it's dead, you can add that as well. All right. now. One other thing that we'll do to help us with the watering is a function for watering the plant. Here, we can simply just say water level is equal to the minimum of the water current level plus the amount we're trying to give with the max amount. Then we'll add uh, five health as well. This is kind of if you want as well. Like you don't have to do this, but it's up to you, right? All right, and that is essentially it. Now, there is a few other things that we will eventually have to do, but for now, that's good. All right, now let's head over to our dirt plant. And in the next part, we'll take a look at how we can actually add it from here. Because remember, right here is where we interact with it, but we need to actually add that plant that we just created into our scene. So in the next part, we'll take a look at how we can do that.